I'm back to work on, on this uh, Skidoo Elite and I uh, thought I'd take a little video showing the uh, transmission cover off. Uh, I had to take the transmission cover off to inspect things in there. It uh, wasn't shifting too good for me when I got it. And, uh, so anyways, that's what the inside of the transmission on a Skidoo Elite looks like. Apparently this transmission is very similar to that on an Alpine. Um, if you ever have occasion to take that uh, 3 8 triple uh, roller chain apart. It's a real bugger to get that thing back together. Uh, so be careful you don't lose any parts of the connector link down in the uh, 3 foot long deep uh, chain case. Uh, one thing I did while I had this apart is you'll notice a, a lip around this area here. And it continues on underneath the driven clutch, making it extremely difficult to change a drive belt on these things, and especially if you're using a top cog drive belt, which is a bit taller. So while I had that secondary shaft off, I ground a bit of that lip away to make it a little easier to change the drive belt. I think that was a pretty good idea. Uh, so I'll show you the top cover of the chain case, or ear case. That's what it looks like. On the inside, shifter fork there. And that's the top side. And I think most of my shifting problems was in the adjustment of this affair here. And I think I can get that remedied. And this is the engine all back together, ready to go. Uh, I just checked the compression yesterday, and we're got 172 pounds on each side, which I think is pretty healthy. Uh, I changed the alternator on this. Actually, when I got this machine, the guy gave me the original alternator and voltage regulator in a box. He wasn't sure if they were any good. He was just running the uh, charging system off the uh, lighting coil of this 467 engine that he had transplanted into it. And I wanted to go back to an external alternator, but I didn't want to use this one because I didn't know if it was any good. And I hate these things with external regulators anyway, so I got a GM alternator for like a hundred bucks with a built-in regulator and mounted on that on there had to do some modification quite a few modifications on the brackets to make it work but it looks like it'll work although I'm kind of thinking that alternator should be geared down a tad it's going to be pretty spinning pretty fast and I made a bracket up to hold the oil tank and coil and CDI box because all that stuff was just hanging there from zip ties and uh, bailing wire when I got the machine. And uh, that'll be ready to drop in pretty soon. So today I hope to get the gearbox back together, get the brake caliper mounted back on it. And then I'm going to lift it way up in the air and get the suspensions out and change the high facts and take a closer look at the tracks. And that's my progress so far. So uh, stay with me in another week. Hopefully we'll have this thing running. Thanks for watching.